November 1991. Girlfriends, it's me, David Somebody, remember? It seems ages since we last dished. I've been so busy with university, you know, studying, the student body, etc. I told you I was back at school. Yes, I'm studying, get this, English literature. I'm a student of one language and a teacher of another, if fag can be considered a language. I picked a bad time to go back to university, considering that campus security has clamped down on sex in U of A washrooms. Oh, it was in all the newspapers. My Jewish friend Simon tried to lay that old, there's a time and place for everything routine on me, but I said, girlfriend, straights have their equivalent of sex on park benches and movie theaters at office parties wherever they feel each other simon was stunned into silence and sunk into his croissant did you see the last barbara waltz's interview richard gear was on and he still looks gorgeous even with gray hair barbara asked him about the rumors of his homosexuality do they bother him john campbell not his real name and i just looked at each other thinking close the closet door we smell major mothballs. We were wrong. Richard said, The rumors don't bother me because there's nothing wrong with being gay. Way to go, Dick. <laughs> I love Dick. I've been staying away from the roost lately. It seems I've somehow managed to get a reputation as promiscuous. I hate that stereotype that fags are all promiscuous. Once in a drunken rage, John Campbell, not his real name's cute brother-in-law Don, called me a, a quote, two-bit horror. I hit him, of course, with my bag of quarters. I was on my way to the laundromat. Oh, last Saturday at the Roost, this old chicken hawk named Keith came up to me and said, nice jeans, boy, but they're so very tight. How'd you get into them? I just looked at him and in an aloof tone replied, well, you can start by buying me a drink, sailor. I was kidding, of course, but John Campbell, not his real name, gets all pissed off and didn't speak to me until the Sambuca kicked in. One more thing. Announcement to Ben Bass, lead in the Citadel's production of Romeo and Juliet. Can we make babies? Hey, listen, it's been a pauper, but I really got to do some more homework. Until next week, remember my name, somebody. I'm going to live forever. I'm going to learn how to be by. Don't be afraid to turn to somebody when you have a problem. Somebody cares.